We did pretty darn good for an hour of fishing. Eight fluke from 19 to 25 inches. Another seven or eight throwbacks. We'll see you back at the kitchen. Sweet potatoes. They're delicious, packed with vitamins, and they go great with fluke. Put them in the oven well ahead of the fluke. 350, 45 minutes an hour is perfect for the uh, sweet potato. So the next step is to take the fillets inside and wash them with really cold water. But really, fish doesn't necessarily have to be washed. I do wash it, but I make sure that I dry it off very, very well. Uh, wet fish is a no-no. So I'm going to go ahead and wash each fillet, and then I'm going to layer it on here and make sure it's completely dry. And while I'm, while I'm cleaning it, washing it, I'm feeling for any bones or any uh, leftover skin or anything, and I'm going to go ahead and clean that off very well before we go ahead and cook it up. I'm making a salad to go along with the fluke, and I just thought this was an interesting aside. We cook our corn from our garden around here just like the Indians did. We keep it right in the husks, put it on the oven on a low temperature, and let it cook for about 20, 25 minutes or so, and it comes out perfect every time. You know, I was going to break out a really fancy recipe for these fluke fillets, and when we were coming in at the dock, there was tons of people around. Everybody was just enjoying their ice cream, and we showed them our catch, and, and they were very impressed. And the number one question I got was, how do you prepare fluke? And I figured I might as well show everyone the way that we prepare fluke at home after fishing, after a long day, we're tired, we're worn out, and we just want to eat. And it's a very simple, delicious recipe. How simple is it? Well, here's everything you need. Lemons, butter, Ritz crackers, a bag to crush the Ritz crackers in, your fluke, glass baking dish, and an oven. That's it. That's all you need. You can actually uh, crush the Ritz crackers right inside the package itself and make a little mess. Or you can do like me. You can put it inside a one zip baggie that you can reuse. Get all the air out of it. Or not. And then go to town. Now I like my Ritz crackers medium fine. I like to have a few larger pieces in there. There you go. We've got our crushed Ritz crackers. Now I'm going to take the butter and you have to use about as much butter as, you know, it's it's all preference, but for the amount of fillets we're going to put in here, I'm going to use about three quarters of a stick of butter. So I'll go ahead and I'll cut three quarters of a stick off and put it in the microwave oven and melt it right down. Into the microwave she goes. We'll have our butter in one minute. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and line our well-dried fillets and place them in this baking dish. Just like this. We're going to line the whole bottom of the baking dish with these fillets. Some big fluke we caught the other day. I tell you, these fillets are not usually this big. If you get to the point where you don't have much room, if you get to the point where you don't have much room, don't be afraid to cut the fillets in half to fit them into the bottom of the baking pan. Just go ahead and fit it in just like that. We don't have a single space open there. I'm going to go get the butter. Salt. 
salted butter, by the way. And we're going to take our crackers and go ahead and liberally put the crackers on all over the fish. Go ahead and put all the crackers on. And then, my favorite part, because it's butter, you go ahead and just drizzle that butter over, all over the fish, all over the place. Some people use wine. I'm uh, mostly Irish, so just plain butter is good for me, man. Butter, 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 and more butter. If you're real health conscious, you can be spray some cooking oil on the bottom and without the butter, but what fun is that? Last step, it's not the way my wife does it, and she's a much better cook than I am, but it's the way that I like to do it, and I think it looks good. Just take some nice thin slices of lemon, and you can place it right over the top. Just like this. And that gives it a nice lemony flavor. What I'm going to do is that when I take it out of the oven, I'm going to go ahead and finish it with a couple squeezes of lemon. But for now, we'll put some lemon over the top. Well, at this point, the preparation of the fish is done. All we got to do is cook it. And uh, the cooking process is as simple as the process of preparing it. We're going to put it in the oven at 450 for 10 minutes. Keep an eye on it when it's in the oven because you can overcook this fish very quickly. The fillets are very thin. The temperature is high. You don't want to go longer than, say, 10, 15 minutes at most. The crumbs on top will tell you when it's done. When you see them nice and golden brown, pull it. You don't want to overcook your fish. It'll taste awful. Well, we're down to our last step, cooking the fish. 450 degrees for 10 minutes. Into the oven she goes. Roasted the corn in their husks for about 20, 25 minutes here on a low temperature on the grill. We're going to go ahead and take them right off the grill, let them cool down, and they'll go right into our salad. Well, while the fluke is cooking, I just threw together a salad. It's a, it's a pretty simple salad of uh, chopped romaine hearts. We've got some red onion in there, some uh, sliced Fuji apples, some glazed walnuts, and some Maytag blue cheese. Uh, we're going to finish that off with our roasted corn from the grill. And to dress that up, I've got some uh, extra virgin olive oil and balsamic uh, vinegar Italian dressing with some Italian herbs in there. Uh, it's two parts uh, extra virgin olive oil, one part balsamic. Uh, it's uh, a dash of uh, Italian herbs and uh, a little honey and a little gray poupon. So that'll finish off our salad. We're going to have the sweet potato. We're going to have the fluke. We're going to have the salad and a little bread. And that'll round off the traditional roach family dinner after a long day of fluking. finished product. Looking good. Okay, I'm going to plate her up. Let's wedge here. There you have it. A little salad, little bread, fluke, roasted corn, sweet potato. Fit for a king or Rob Roach. Peace. Hey, the cooking's done. We're all ready to eat. I'm done cooking. I'm done sweating. Thank you guys so much for helping me catch these beautiful fluke. Thank you, thanks. No problem, my pleasure. And uh, let's dig in. Cheers. Cheers to these flukes. Visit us on the web, kettlebottom.com. Thanks for watching Kettlebottom Outdoor Pursuits. See you next time.